What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to explain to you guys how you can obtain the three new exotic weapons that come with the House of Wolves The Queen Breaker's Bow, the Dreg's Promise and the Lord of Wolves But before we get into the video, can I just say if you guys do enjoy the video at the end if you could leave a like I would appreciate the support, let's try and reach 5000 likes, that would be insane if we could Also may I give a massive shout out to Galvin13 who actually supplied me with this footage and gave me all the information to share with you guys. If you want to show him some love I will link his Twitter in the video description but getting straight into the video. Now how to obtain these new exotic weapons. Now playing the Prison of Elders on a level 35 and completing it you have a chance to obtain the Elder Cypher which is an exotic bounty. People have been telling me that they have obtained this straight after they have killed Scholar and it's just dropped, popped up on their screen. Others have stated that they have obtained it from the main chest in the treasure room. I've also heard rumours as well that it has dropped after people have defeated the main boss on the level 34 prison of elders but I can't confirm that. Now once you have obtained this you take the elder cipher to Valix the Loyal on the reef where he offers you the choice of three weapons. The cream breakers bow, the lord of wolves or the dregs promise. Once you have selected the weapon you wanted, there are a few steps you need to do as a bounty before you are rewarded your prize. And that's basically how you obtain these weapons. The Elder Cypher drops from the Prison of Elders, level 35, rumours of 34. You take it to Valix where you have to complete a few steps as an exotic bounty to get the weapon. It's as simple as that. So if you want this bad boy, you just got to keep grinding, you really have. Now on screen now, we're going to take a look at all three weapons and discuss their mods. And some of them are very unique, they really are. Now we're going to start with the Queen Breaker's Bow. And the weird thing about this is we all thought it was a sniper rifle. Well, it does act as a sniper rifle, but it is indeed a fusion rifle. As you can see, it's stayed there on screen, but it has got a charge rate. So you will have to charge this bad boy before letting it fucking fire. Now it's first mod I want to take a look at is called Combat Sights, low zoom sights with faster charge time and ability energy display. Notice it lowers the impact, higher the charge rate and higher the reload. Next mod we have is Hip fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. We then have single point sling, switch weapons faster with cook while aiming. We have flared magwell, reload this weapon even faster. And we have increases range and accuracy. We then have hidden hand. This weapon gains better target acquisition, which I heard is pretty good on snipers. Haven't actually tried it out myself yet. Next weapon we're going to take a look at is the Lord of Wolves, which is indeed a shotgun. Subtitle states, by this right alone do I rule. Now we can see it's got a slow rate of fire, its impact is pretty high, but it's got no range whatsoever. I mean, I'd have to zoom in on my screen to see that minute bit of range it's got. Stability isn't that great either, and its reload speed is pretty bad. It's got a magazine size of 30, but as we know, this is like a burst shotgun. It will shoot five bullets per shot, meaning you'll only get six shots with a 30 bullet magazine. Now getting straight into its mods, we have linear compensator, more predictable recoil, slight boost to range and impact, more recoil, which does hide the impact and recoil a little bit. We then have soft ballistics, less recoil penalty to impact, which gives it slight range. We then have hip fire, this weapon gains bonus accuracy when firing from the hip. We have speed reload, extended mag and perfect balance. And the last mod we're going to take a look at is called Devil's Touch. Kills with this weapon, rally nearby allies with plus 3 recovery, lasts 30 seconds. Now that is actually a new mod to the game we ain't seen yet. And it's actually not too bad of a perk. Nearby allies get a plus 3 recovery that lasts 30 seconds. That's actually quite good to be honest. I'd probably more say so for PvE than for PvP. Now the next weapon we're going to take a look at and the final weapon is called the Dregs Promise. Now we all know about this bad boy, the sidearm secondary. Now now we can see it's got a super high rate of fire, low impact, medium range, good stability and a great reload speed. It's got 18 bullets in its magazine also. Now getting straight into its mods. We know this weapon always spawns with ammo which is actually a good thing for PvP as it's a secondary. We have three ballistics, we have CQB ballistics and we have aggressive ballistics. We also have grave rubber. Melee kills while this weapon is equipped have a chance to refill the magazine. We have perfect balance, field scout and snapshot. Aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. 
Its final mod is called Shock Rounds, high ricochet shock rounds with enhanced target acquisition. Not too bad whatsoever. But guys, they are the three exotics you can obtain from the House of Wolves. We have the Queen Breaker's Bow, the Lord of Wolves and the Dreg's Promise. And like I said, you obtain these from an exotic bounty from Valix the Loyal, one which starts out from you obtaining the Elder Cypher from the Prison of Elders on a level 35 from either the boss or the main chest in the treasure room. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. If you've come across any of these weapons yet, let me know down below in that comment section. Thanks as always for stopping by. I hope to have some gameplay on some of these soon. And peace out until next time. Peace!